Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the length of your audio clip to match the project link that you're working on in Adobe Premiere Elements. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Travis and I love to film unboxing videos of cool new gear that I get for filmmaking and photography. And if I ever go someplace cool, I'm definitely going to film a vlog about it. And when I have DIY projects around the house, usually smart home stuff and assembling IKEA furniture, I'll film those too. And of course, if I learn something new in Adobe Premiere Elements, I'll definitely share that on the channel too. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you head down below and hit that subscribe button. So oftentimes you'll have created your project, you'll have the perfect piece of audio and you want to put that in and you find out it's 30 seconds too long or maybe it's 30 seconds too short. So I'm going to show you a simple and easy way that you can adjust the length of your audio using Adobe Premiere Elements. So let's head on into the program and get started. Okay, so we're now inside the Adobe Premiere Elements software and I have preloaded a recent project that I was working on so that I can show you first what it looks like complete and then how to actually apply the remix to your audio. So I do find this particularly useful in these type of videos where I'm just talking and the music isn't a focus on what I'm creating, it's more of a background. So I don't mind stretching it out through a long period of time if it's a track that doesn't seem to repeat too much and you're not really going to focus on it. So I usually do this with ambient type music. So as you can see, I have one track here at the bottom and you can see it says remix. So this is very important. You want to use the music part of your timeline. So when you drop a video, you can see you have video one and audio one. You also have these extra bars below your timeline, one for voice and one for music. So if you ever record an audio overlay, that's actually gonna show up here on voice. So the great part about music is on this part of the timeline, it's going to allow you to stretch your music to whatever length that you want. So I'm just gonna delete this here. So head to wherever you have your favorite piece of audio and drag that down into your timeline. So in our case, it's right here. So we're gonna drag that down. And as you can see, it's not long enough to cover the entire video. So very simply, all you need to do is grab on to the end of it here and drag it out to the length that you want. And then you'll see it prepares your clip for a remix and it's going to give you a percentage. And that percentage is really important because if it goes up too high, then your track's not gonna sound the same. It's gonna be a lot faster. And if it goes too low, then it's not going to sound the same because it's gonna sound a lot slower. Or sometimes the less of a match that it has, the more cuts that are in your clips. So most of the time you can't even tell. So we got a 100.23, so that's almost a perfect match. So there's probably no chance that you'll hear any cuts within this clip whatsoever. So that's it, a real simple way to get the audio to line up with your video in your edits. So I hope that quick tutorial showed you an easy way to adjust your audio. If you like this video, make sure you head down below, hit that like button, it actually makes a difference. If you wanna see more videos like this one, smash that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy out there.